So this example is going to demonstrate how you can create wraparound containers for existing sequential containers. And uh, this, this is going to go, kind of go back to some cool template programming techniques just to kind of round out our discussion of sequential containers. So what this is going to do, as you can see here, we're going to, contain, we're going to create a struct called sequential container wrapper. And it's parameterized by type name T. And it's also got a template template parameter. And that template template parameter will be used to hold a sequential container. And we give it the default value of vector. So the sequential container wrapper by default wraps a vector. And then down here, we're going to use a variadic argument template, which we'll say I'll give it an arbitrary number of arguments, a fixed but arbitrary number of arguments. And we're going to go ahead and take those parameters that are passed to the constructor of sequential container wrapper. And we're going to initialize the container by forwarding the arguments to it. And you'll see what that does in a second. It's really, really, really cool. So that's going to allow us to be able to initialize the container by forwarding it the parameters we want it to have. And then, of course, here's the, the actual sequential container. So sequential container of T is based on the parameters that are passed in as template parameters to the sequential container wrapper class. All right, so keep that in mind. That's what this thing is going to do. Then we're also going to have uh, a way to print out the contents of a sequential container wrapper. And you can see here what we do is this has the same signature that we did before, type name T and a template template parameter, which is the container. In this case, it's a sequential container. And what we're going to do is we're going to give it an O stream ref and then a sequential container wrapper. And what the sequential container wrapper is going to do is it's going to walk through every element in the sequential container and print its contents. All right, so given that, let's see how we can use this mechanism. It's, it's pretty fun. So here we're going to make ourselves a, an array of const care stars, which will have four string literals, circle, triangle, square, and rectangle. And then we're going to figure out the size of this thing. And I think I can use begin end to make this even better. Then what I want to do here is create a sequential container wrapper for string, and I'm going to give it three words. So we're going to wrap a vector of string that's going to contain three words. Because remember, the sequential container wrapper itself is defaulting to it's defaulting to vector. So we're going to have a vector that will have three words, and the words will be words, 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 which is a famous uh, Shakespeare quote. So I'll show you what that does in a second. And then we're going to go ahead and make a sequential container wrapper for care star, except this time we're going to use a deck instead of a vector, which is the default. And we're going to give it the shapes array, and then the, the, so we're going to give it the beginning to the shapes array and the end to the shapes array. So let's go ahead and run the code and see what the output is. It's really funky and cool. Uh, you can see here that the first thing we do is we make ourselves this container wrapper that will take, it'll, it'll use a vector as the implementation of the container, and it's going to pass into that vector's constructor, which is this part here. It's going to use the forwarding mechanism of the var args, uh, the variadic template parameter. It's going to pass in three, so it says I want three elements in this container. That's the first parameter of the constructor. So it's saying how big it wants it to be. And then it passes in the default value for each of those elements, which will be words. And so when we print this down here, we get words, words, words. So that's what gets printed. And then down here for this sequential container wrapper for B2, it's going to take the, it's going to be using a deck and it's going to take the beginning of the shapes array and then the end of the shapes array. And if you take a look at the shapes array, it's circle, triangle, square, rectangle. And that's going to be passed as a pair of iterator ranges from beginning to end in that range. And so when we make ourselves the wrapped container, it's going to create a deck that will have the contents circle, triangle, square, rectangle. So again, this is demonstrating how you can use what's called perfect forwarding to efficiently forward the parameters that are passed in using the variadic template mechanism to the constructor of the container that we're wrapping. And the forwarding mechanism here works in conjunction with 
Variant Templates to go ahead and do this in a type safe, very, very efficient way. 